I was giving from Lapis Monsters, my pair was left behind. I beg for your assistance. Ah, I knew you'd take that one. It was actually made for you. No one else could take it. The client specifically said so. To us, this is secret. I'm not allowed to say anything, but I've already told you. Oops, I've got a piece of paper on the bar. Damn, my clumsy fingers. Why don't you pick it up for me and throw it away, hmm? I won't tell anyone about my little attack with the power if you don't. You'll find out why it's so... You'll find out why it's all so... You'll find out why it's so... So all fire secret anyway soon. Ah ha! Do I move it to the PM with the Grand Duchy? Okay, so since we're going into a place that has more damage tiles, um... It wouldn't hurt to grab a lot of the... Guard Souls. 20 is a little excessive, but uh... <laughs> we'll write a complaint. I'm gonna be needing a lot of them anyways. So let's just go ahead and waste our time. So probably change the night time, so that's probably that's probably help. Alright, we'll just waste time just going back and forth here. And this part of what happens so we could just easily waste time so it so it becomes eleven PM. It's now eleven. We need to go because I too. Thank you for accepting my vital and useful request. Not long ago I ventured into the lab as without knowledge my advisors. I sought to save my father. I couldn't stand to see, see so many doing so while I sat idle. As the lapis is dangerous to wave by oneself, I took my face for Hound King. Just as King and I entered the 16th floor, we encountered a horde of monsters. I was ready with the sword, and King fought bravely as well. But in the end, the numbers were too great, and the threat was too, too terrible. When they overwhelmed me and knocked me into the forest sword, King drew their attention away and led them into the labyrinth. I was to ask the guard called why they were scolding me from the labyrinth. But brave, faithful king, the one who saved my life, is still trapped in that maze. I mentioned the war and the guards tell me that I must honor his memory by staying out of harm. That requires me to accept his death, and I do not. I will never go into the lap of working my hound. But you must do this in secret. No one may know if I no one may know if I request to you. When you find the king again, I know that you shall. Leave him with Mr. Cass at the board. <laughs> Someone approaches. I must leave now. Please find King! But do not jeopardize your own lives in the process. May you be safe in your search. Hmm? Is there something I can do for you, explorers? No, don't worry about it. As you proceed through the lapis, you hear a faint noise in the distance. It is the careful and can barely make out the piteous howl of an animal. Remember that now, the quest you accepted for the Duke's daughter. You agreed to save a lost hunting dog. You're not certain that it was the dog's cry you heard, but it was definitely an animal howl. It's still separate to try and find the animal that did not have to search cry. But be careful, the animal is clearly in danger and the dog's senses are keen. If you make too much noise, the animal might walk from you and never come back. Alright, so it's these enemies that we want to try to avoid. In fact, I... Dub. Okay. Spider! Taking your attention to this field quest. Random counters don't count. <laughs> so we're perfectly fine to run into random counters and be perfectly fine with the quest not feeling. If it's one of these actual FOEs though, then it's the actual problem. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to immediately fail this quest anyways because uh, I want to kill this enemy. That's belatedly that causing a wagon is only to get off the hounding and them off. You're finished the attack. Come to back here. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's also weird that these enemies just don't, don't appear in the companion anyways. I was, I was thinking that was going to be the case, but apparently it's not, so. Okay, no. Good to know. So try to ow. I'm ow. Okay. 
beams on. Ow. You search the area and find traces of something very beneath the tree before you. You think you cause the way about something being. something bit. about something being buried under the cherry blossom trees. As you prepare to dig beneath the tree, you sense a malicious presence to take up arms. You look around to see countless scorpions streaming from the bush to surround you. You will escape from the swarm, you will stand and fight! More kill peons! Central deal! <laughs> Because unfortunately, it's just regular enemies that can easily fall, fall prey to being just fucking asleep. How unfortunate. You defeat the wave of scorpions, but just as you catch your breath, you, froze in, you freeze in horror. Another wave of scorpions has fierce as the last that's surrounding you once more. Because you have a vice curiosity, you have no choice but to engage in battle it again. And again, it's just more scorpions, kill peons, but just one more is added. Just this really isn't that dangerous as a seems game, I'm saying. Especially with power of sleep. Just fucking put him to sleep and it's like, oh god, I can't do anything. Oh god, oh no, I'm dying. Oh no, what could I ever do? You defeat a wave of scorpions, but just to catch your breath, you freeze and hold. Another wave of scorpions as fierce as the last, so I can get once more. Once more! Except this is a preemptive attack this time because, uh, man, just this. After steaming the end of this battle, there are finally no more scorpions in sight. If you stay here, however, another wave may ambush you again. Remain aware of this buried under trees, which is fearful of fleeing the area. Cool, I guess. There we go. I should go away. No one wants you here. <sighs> Test when I thought I was almost in the clear, just nope, surprise! <laughs> Monster heal! As you enter the room, the howl you heard earlier will repeat. You don't get to see the source of the sound. The door in this case of the room should reveal it. My next part, which we'll come back to later to pick it up. You spotted a dog at the end of the hidden area, a few evident in his manner. You push the cost to sleep, but the dog steps backwards as remembered. You might waste for anything that could ease his nerves. You think you recall that the Duke started towards your house name. But what was it? Rex? No. <laughs> you are certain from where you remember that the dog's name is not Rex, but King. You call the dog's name and his ears perk up. Slowly and carefully, you walk up to him and reach out a hand. The dog licks it eagerly. <laughs> Boys and that over now that the dog is calm and obedient. Pick him up and walk away, but it says I'm gonna grab that treasure. Heaven bow. Unfortunately, it's just like that because we got the bow from like rather early on because of the chimera's traditional drop, but <laughs> kind of don't need any other bow. I'm gonna have to make it, sure, but. Winning it, that's not the issue. Ah, you're back! 
Yeah, yeah, finally, see, good damn it. So I can tell you that, that, that the lady. Yeah! Uh, aha! Yeah, I, I should have never mind what I'm saying. Aw, oh, the Pope upset. Hope you won't lose enough to take him by force. We eh, won't. Ha, just kidding. I'll take the dog to. I'll take the dog to a back. Right to a back way. It's the one I know you've been waiting for. Too bad you won't get any recognition. But not next time, ha! I mean. It's making this into one person in particular. It's the wicked this, I'm just saying. Gold water. I feel plump mail. And I don't want this. Bees, my god. Ow. Let's go here. Oh, hi. I didn't realize we're coming from this direction. I'll go the other way then. My bad. Like that. Hi, buddy. Do you mind? Do you mind? To get to get stage. I would try to walk into you. There we go. Let's not make that mistake again. Goodness gracious. Oh, let's go. There's a branching path over here. Ow, ow. You examine the area thoroughly and discover a small opening in the forest wall. The grass here looks to be well twined. You can tell the path continues to the other side. You wonder why well one would be safe to continue down this path. Go ahead and nail on the dog. We remember she would be perfectly help helpless. There's no way to confirm safety. You can now get care of your party's lives in the path. If you've had with enhanced physics in the dog, they can confirm the path safety. We'll be back soon enough. And there's also the other mining spot on this floor. Ow. Open this path up. I'll just ask the next floor too. Anyways, uh, one other reason why I actually got so many gold souls to begin with. Oh, well, uh, was we'll see. Hello, dears. Are you heading out to the labyrinth? Don't forget your lunchbox. <laughs> Today's lunch will be a special tweet. My daughter made it just for you. I told her all about you and she couldn't wait to fix her lunch. Isn't that precious? She sounds like a murder. <laughs> now go out there and find that castle. Good luck! Yes, can I help you? Oh, hello there. How have you been? Is everything going smoothly open a new spot? I it's a very beautiful place. Eventually, you should reach the foreign castle, right? You know, let's say that the Duke was descended from the people of that castle. Not only that, but somewhere in it is a holy crown that can kill anything. If only. If only it were true, I could save everyone in the world and end suffering forever. That's for a dream. A world where no one ever succumbs to another terminal disease. <laughs> oh, hi everyone! Welcome! How can I help you today? Oh, Aiko! The book on your boot is coming off! <laughs> is it? Do I even help? Do I even know boots? There, I should do it. <laughs> I'm a craftsman starter. I know these things. But now study even harder so I can help you even more. Please bear with me until then. It should fall across and fight one, jeez. Hello there! I can't believe if most gods ever never get followed to this floor. <laughs> most most gods, I don't know why it's the gods. But for being mask, how high have, have you locked on now? What? The 17th floor? No. Oh. Yeah. I suppose I shouldn't tell you that kind of thing in, in the middle of the floor for different floors, huh? Why? Well, isn't it obvious? Dory human. It's not the pride, you know. I wouldn't want other ghosts to be pissed off at you. That, that does no one any good. Anyways, since you don't drop out fighting that damn castle. Oh, take the quest more often. Shh, that's what I'm doing, my man. Just chill. Chill. Hmm. It's a good set to you. How goes the exploring? Don't overstrain yourselves. No one has ever been to the area you've reached. Keep your guard up at all times. We set it in the guard corps with the day it gets collected on the forced atom. 
Most likely goes without saying, but they all died. <laughs> wow! Man, you better actually as a god, uh, the gods gods! Hi, the gods go god quarter sucks! <laughs> they were not prepared! Especially since we when we like, what, one floor? And he died like birds, bees, a scorpion that's dumbly named Kill Peon. <laughs> well, we have explorer who can survive that whole labyrinth. There's no monster or explorer I do to one on one, but against you all, I lose. Many in harmony surpass one in perfection. Physically and mentally, I've no doubt that Yoko is the closest to reaching the castle. I'm curious to see how far you can make it. Do your best. <laughs> I was about to say, he's going to end up with a catchphrase. Mm hmm? Oh, well, name? Just let me get my tongue. Oh, no. Mm hmm. Yeah, how embarrassing. Ah, yes, Gil Cassette's you, right? I knew it all the time. I knew it all the <laughs> time. I knew it all the time. I knew it the whole time. Now goes the journey. Are we still on our way to find the castle? Must be a long way up. Nevertheless, we appreciate your bravery and going into the labs for our sake. I got great things from you. Yeah, right, let's go ahead and grab some suppress. I could get up the spice from my husband, but I can't afford the ingredients. Can you help me out? Are you sure you want to do that one? It seems a bit small time for you lot. The lady who requested and wants to cook something for her hubby. She can't get the ingredients on the open market, but they're easy to find at the labs. Sounds like I might be easier to me, but what do I know? Anyway, here's what she wants. A bean needle, a heaven pin, and... Mmm, don't tip my tongue here. Mmm, yes, I would really agree to just get down. Okay, um, I had to die. Oh, don't get me wrong, I'm a man here. Do what I'm supposed to like. I, I thought you might like something a little more exciting. But who knows, maybe a boring quest like this might turn out to be a real scorcher. Ha! <laughs> Good luck. Your date never been required for your quest. Thanks, Yay, for thanks for telling me that. You examine the area's door to discover a small opening in the forest wall. You wonder whether or not it would be safe to continue him down this path. Suddenly, your beast starts forth and wants into the passage. You try to stop it, but to no avail. But it turns out that some time as if nothing has happened. It looks up at you eagerly. It sees its instinct tell it the path is safe to take. Next, your beast passes the forest wall free of worry. Yeah, um. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it'll be like Darius Tiles again because I'm going through this again. This is why I got so many god souls because this is irritating. Ow, 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 pain, 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 So that's why I decided to do this a little bit in picnic as well. <laughs> You're not gonna be needing much more of these. Gotta be needle, needle, ow. As you search the area, you find a space beyond the emerald wall large enough to pass. But it is immediately apparent that doing so would be no simple task. The monster was graced by it was rather sister Argus here, yada 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 in past ways, it's just that mm, the unique dialogue for them is just one the same. They don't try to vary it up with anything different. Like it would be nice to see some <laughs> some other unique dialogue changes for the classes to take to take on, but here we are, it's just the same ones. Yeah, like this one. It's just, the only new difference is we've seen what hexes and protectors to pass away interest, but that's about it. Those are like just the one time we've actually seen them, like at all. Come across the last chest. Gwenclaw. A Patissa. And a body aspis. <laughs> That's a whole bunch of two defense on a good gravy.
Wow, <laughs> I'm actually getting everything in like one go. Couldn't be using the other previous slimes. <laughs> Game. Ten times man, four times man, bind wall, hero orb. Rainbug. Rainbow bug. It's a rainbow bug. Later bug. Yeah, I can't think of it. Cool. A walk likes you on the path, virtually begging to be kicked. Kick the stone! The stone ricochets off a tree. Can one off another and flies back directly at your forehead. Da! Ah! This is why we don't kick rocks. <laughs> Let's go. Ow. Proceeds to get our mass move for the side. We'll just have, we'll have to keep that in mind as we progress onwards. Ow, ow, ow. Here's the top point. Alright, well. Well, come on, the last thing that it is basically new for a, a cross save or password file for Etrian Odyssey 2. Disappointing to very little, I know. You look at the dead end to find a horrid right with a horrid writhing being. The party freezes. Even for Kazetsu, who has been in for it, <laughs> it's like something from a nightmare. <laughs> Meanwhile, nobody here has been from uh, has been from Etria because he is all the way back at the guild. <laughs> but this is no dream. You must act quickly. You flee from the nightmare or stand your ground face it on. I'm binding you up as you each face. You each prepared to face the nightmare. Thank you, Zed. Pedaloids. Take the floor beneath to even well. Behind we even see these, but here we are, I guess. But, uh, you know what they say. If you play so much, put him to sleep. And just go to west. <laughs> we even got the houses right, too. This is perfect. You obtained all the answers there for the quest. Thanks for that. Surprisingly timed. Welcome back! The client was just by. I delivered the goods and see what please as, uh, as punch. So, what now? Got any exciting business in the works? Eh? Well, sure, I suppose so. She did say he was off to cook it, his dinner away and right home. Fine, if you insist. I'll look them up. Now, where I put it? Let's see now. Uh, hmm. This is the stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, it says right here. Wait one minute. Dangerous ingredients. Hey, that's those poisonous! Damn, this one too? Since it goes right through the bloodstream, make it a heart. Mother, wait here, I'll be back! Boy, thanks for assisting I lo looked that stuff up. The poor blighter nearly died. The woman was around a twist, just because he saw a hubby walking around the town with another girl. She decided to cook up a poison stew. She was me to the bone. You could put a start to all that, didn't it? Though I didn't see what happened next. And I thought this place would be boring. I'm more excited than I bargained for. I suppose domestic disputes can be more dangerous than the lab of species, huh? Oh, you never forgot. Here's the reward. Great job. Now we're counting on you. Goddamn, woman! Chill! We're landing in the forest. The innkeeper's daughter is taking each fresh sale. We, we would like you to escort her into the labyrinth. Yeah, so we can do this one. Ah, that one. You know the innkeeper's daughter, right? Ah, Grant, think it's in trouble for explaining that. She's fair, you see, and has trouble breathing. She gets by, okay, since that dog from the hospital looks after her close. But it's important that she goes to to the labs every so often to take in first aid. The Grand Judge is quite good at pro providing her with an escort whenever she needs one. Well, there's been some scheduling mishaps this time, and there's no one to take her inside. So your job basically is to help us cut the girl. Your destination is the north of the 14th floor, the girl's waiting in the center city. Well, good luck. Oh, Kisetsu. Hello. I mean, we got her. Huh? Do people in Kisetsu are taking me? I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. Um, you're a strong guild, aren't you? 
you won't lose to any ghosts. I'm absolutely positive we could take young girls. This possibly is not foreshadowing in the slightest, or just, you know, just bringing up random dialogue for the sake of random dialogue. No, oh, that's good. I don't want anyone to get hurt. Uh, I'll follow close behind you. Please take care of me. Well, oh, right. We start to do my damn poor here. We're, we're both fine. You should see if everything's safe. Now turn around. To your chagrin, you see, the, <laughs> you see the innkeeper's daughter are trying hard to keep up with you. If you were to be bad at the interview, it would pain to go greatly. Fortunately, the monsters in the forest seem unusually active. So, to tell what to expect here. See, with great caution. Hello, friend. Would you like to listen to my song? As you enter the room, you are greeted by your first breeze. The air here is the most serene you have felt, you have felt in the happens. You feel completely purified. Like if I could take it over, this clearness feels the same way. When it goes wide, you breathe deep of the fresh air. Spend some time with the girl in the tank road clearing before you, before you prepare to return. This was fun, and I wish you could be the one to escort me every time. You note with slight embarrassment that the girl has, has made a flower pin from the white clovers. Slight embarrassment? What? <laughs> Again, most of the members I brought here are like four girls and one guy. <laughs> How's that slight embarrassment? I made it for good luck. I think you should have it. The flower pin he has given to you is charged to ensure safe journeys. Something for something to give in return. You want it for your rag to find an. So, the autumn. That better, huh? You give it a flower. <laughs> Again, I had to clarify. The item description says it's a fucking feather. <laughs> this is not a fucking flower. We are literally giving a child a, a, a feather shaped f f flower or something. I don't know. This is a little feather we're giving her. This is nothing we're going with for flowers. And she takes the break before using her own any thread. The quest is complete. Yada yada yada. A bowl of steam keepers on made from white clovers. Ah, you're back. Good work. Seems everything went well. The girl's safe at home and the mother came to thank you. Oh, that's what it ends for, eh? <laughs> well, this one's wrapped up as well. Here's your award. Come back anytime. Come back anytime. Well, I have a for one. The last ones are just made of mad. Needs to be really great. Can't you find something for her? Are you serious? I'm not wrong for that sad sack. The lad doesn't know where to quit. Sounds like his last girl was washed, and now he's serious and even on speaking terms with him. This time he's on the scent of something incredibly rare and he needs someone to fetch it. Have you heard of this wood wells before? Apparently it grows in the labyrinth. Some say it grows on modern trees, some say from monster offal, but no one's certain. The best guess is just that the white humidity and temperature just made will this mineral will crystallize. The crystal's form is supposed to look like a well, so they call it a wood wells. It's one of those things that's supposed to bring a luck, but that's all a little fooey. But the ladies fall for it, so any man that gets number one is a hero in their eyes. Me? Are you daft? I don't need a bloody crystal wall to pull. The woman can't say no to a man with a ball like mine, if you catch my meaning. <laughs> Anyways, I've heard talk of talk of one or two of, or two of them being seen on the 17th floor. If you're not lucky, you can get your hands on one. If not, I better stop writing till you find it. <laughs> Good luck. You'll need it. Ow, ow, ow. Um... As you delve further into the labyrinth, you come across a sandy area surrounded by trees. Each particle of sand glistens brightly as if it were a drop into the ocean of gems. The desire reminds you of the quest you took at the ball. A great search for a mineral that crystallizes the shape of the wells. This sandy area could be just a place to begin your search. Consider investigating further in the hopes of finding something. You stand around the bridge, forced to look out and spread up to sift through the sand. To your chagrin, however, the sand is fairly deep. It will be easy to find anything there. here. As the search progresses, you will ask for your heart and daughter to your spade. Take care not to lose it, you're flying around here to dig it up. It's a beautiful flesh toned crystal in the shape of rose petals curled into a ball. Its resemblance to an organic blooming rose is uncanny. Having found where you started, you cover it in a cloth and carefully store it away. Well, that's done and done. You're back. I meant to talk to you about that request. Uh, wait, you found it? I hate to be the one to tell you, but the request is cancelled. And I can believe this. I barely believe it myself. Those two are getting married! 
As I said, you're on your way. Now Tosser came in and I gave him a piece of my mind. Have you no pride? I said to him. All a real man needs to woo is a woman is his own body. But what happens then? The Tosser comes back, lady in hand. He takes me for giving him the guts to come out and propose to her. And listen to this. See the way they fall in front of the moment she saw him. What is he seeing him? That's what I'd like to know. Of course he does. He didn't want any fancy guests. It's just an orange display of love. I couldn't believe my ears. She didn't want anything? Such a... Does such a lies really exist? But, sure enough, that's how the request is cancelled. Uh, I, I feel terrible for you, lot. Uh, just between you and me, uh, roommates, right? Well, I have a promises of my own. If you don't need this rose thingy, uh, I, I feel bad enough to buy it off of you. No, no, that isn't why. You're way off base. I just feel bad for you, lot, is all. Uh, Look, I'll smile, okay? Here's your, here's your money and all sales are final. Now go home already, until next time. <laughs> Cass, I hate to break it to you, but that was the money, that was the par paralyzed gas. And I don't need a paralyzed gas, because it's fucking useless to me. Like, why are we storing it in? Which is going to be directly sold. Color axe. Color axe. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a damn, it's a damn downgrade because I already got the thing I need. <laughs> Anyways, let's finally head up up here. Oh, I. Ow. Of course, I got nothing from that. Cool, great, awesome, outstanding, amazing. Look, where we just say us. Quite a sore floor, no? Well, that's, like a, that's what I would like to say, but uh, we still got plenty of ways. Still got a long way to go. <laughs> and this ain't even half of it. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna keep a mental note of this here for reasons later on. Oh, um, going for you. That was too close. That was a weather for me. <laughs> I am also going to make a mental note to this spot in particular for no reason. Turn and not prepare myself for anything in future. Nope. And even after doing all that setup, I, just to kill with an elemental attack, it's just fucking nothing. Cool. Phenomenal. Hey, you on God. There we go. Going that way. Okay, we're safe. That is good. So to proceed with this way. Now, if I'm not mistaken. This is where we get into some funk business. Because if I remember over here... The fog is way as we are, just stumbled into a booby trap. It's a trap! And I have to set up the marker here just to make sure we represent that as a trap. Oh god! 